Hello, and please welcome my fully battery-powered Raspberry Pi. I'd say wireless, but um, as you can see, it's got lots of wires. Uh, yeah, it is all the gubbins for my uh, pit boy all put together. Um, still a couple of extra bits I'll need to add later, but uh, essentially all this is running off this battery pack here. Oh, that's a bit dark. Right. Yeah, this battery pack here, which uh, I think should run for um, about uh, two or three hours, maybe. Depends on how many things I have attached to it at the time. Um, that's got for uh, 18650 batteries, uh, lithium ion. Um, let's back up. Now the reason I got this particular one is because as well as having two USB sockets, it's got a barrel jack that can be set to uh, 9 volts or uh, 12 volts, or indeed 5 volts, and I need that to power the uh, Adafruit 3.5-inch uh, uh, TFT screen, which uh, is a pain to get running because it yeah, requires at least 6 volts. Um, okay, and I've uh, attached that to uh, the uh, top of the my cardboard uh, interface, um, just to yeah, bring it all together. Uh, I've got a speaker now. Uh, that's going to be the speaker that I'm going to have in the actual uh, device. And um, it's got a mono amp here. That's a Spark Fun um, mono amp jobby. That's running off the uh, Team C uh, power supply. Um, what else we got? Uh, can't see it right now, but I've also uh, added some LEDs on the inside of the screen, uh, just to the sides, that will turn on later. Um, okay, what else we got? Uh, yeah, here's the Raspberry Pi, GPS, uh, running off the GPIO. Um, there's the headphone cable that leads around to the uh, amplifier. Uh, there's the composite that leads around to the screen. Right, the power to the Raspberry Pi comes out of the 5 volts. That goes to, where's that come around to? I've got a splitter here. Oh, that's horrendous, I know. Um, as well as feeding the Raspberry Pi there, that also feeds uh, this uh, USB hub, powered USB hub, so that um, all of these uh, USB devices uh, are being fed in parallel, not serial, with the Raspberry Pi. So the Raspberry Pi doesn't have to feed uh, these USB sockets uh, any more of its power. Uh, and I've got the uh, Teensy with the, uh, all the buttons on it uh, attached into there. Uh, that's a Wi-Fi, and uh, that is a, a radio, like a digital television, but it, it, it can do other stuff. Uh, that uh, Radio USB dongle. Uh, doesn't do anything yet, but I thought I'd uh, just show off the power supply. Um, and that I'm hoping in the future to use as part of the uh, as the radio page for the uh, for the uh, pit boy. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. Is that everything? Yep, I think. Horrible mess. Uh, somehow, actually, I'm just gonna get uh, smaller wires. Once I've got smaller wires, this should all fit into something a lot smaller. Uh, I'm going to take the casing off that, and uh, I'm actually going to decase this as well. Um, being careful to make sure it isn't too enclosed because that bit there can get quite warm. Um, yeah, this is fully rechargeable. Like uh, it's got micro USB to charge it up, so uh, I don't have to take those batteries out again uh, ever. So. That's useful. Uh, okay, I'll activate the pit boy and I'll show you how that's coming on. Is that right? No. Yeah, there we go. And you 
see it's got the sound coming out of the speaker. And there's going to be a little bit of background hum, like crackle, but you can't really tell and it doesn't really matter because I overlay my own background hum uh, from the game Fallout. So that's perfectly fine. Um, this is it, just uh, finding GPS information and downloading the local map. Yeah, I've shown you this before. Um, but now it, it's also, uh, when it's downloading the world map, it's spending a bit longer because it's downloading uh, place information for the local area um, from uh, Google Places uh, using Google API stuff that I managed to get working. Um, okay, here we go. Here's the uh, main state of the screen. Um, you probably don't remember, but this header is new now. I didn't have the header there before. Um, okay. Yeah, still no extras there. Controls are still being rubbish. Um, so I set that to see the items menu has uh, got a slightly different header. And if I go to the uh, map menu, I can't remember if I showed you this bit yet. Um, that's the local map, that's uh, the top of my building. Yeah, I think I showed you that. And the battery ran out. I'm going to pause this just a second. Okay, if you're watching this, I've somehow worked out how to uh, splice YouTube videos together. Uh, okay, uh, where was I? Um... Right, let's go to the main map. Or Leeds map. And uh, you see I've now got uh, places on there. Now these are actually, these positions are based on uh, real places in the area. Um, I chose the uh, the icons uh, taken from the game again um, don't always bear relation to what places are but they kind of do uh, like churches I've set to uh, be um, like monuments um, that's a shop I think maybe oh that might be it's hard to tell um, I haven't got them do overlaying the actual names yet um, but I will do um, oh that's a thing uh, it's got the locality up in the corner there, uh, and uh, it's also got the current time, which I hopefully will update on the minute, when it, the minute changes, but um, yeah, I've yet to wait and watch that yet, so we'll see. Um, oh yeah, it now scrolls. So if I use, this is the, uh, this is the knob that will go on the back of the glove. And you see, turning it makes the uh, cursor go left and right. This is basically how it is in the game. Um, in the future, that'll, if I mouse over any of these uh, places, it'll make the icon slightly larger and print the name of the place. And uh, if I... Balls! What's it doing there? Ah! Uh, let's try that again. Oof once it has charged up a little bit more. Okay, one more time. I really, really need to go to bed. I've had to reflash the... Yeah, the Raspberry Pi, because uh, it got corrupted last time. It fell over. Um, this battery is really solid when it's got a good charge. When it runs out, the power being fed into it isn't enough to power it fully if I've got everything connected. So um, I've unplugged the uh, unnecessary, uh, yeah, don't need the Wi Fi because I've just plugged it into, yeah, Ethernet. And I've uh, taken out the unnecessary uh, radio dongle because I was just eating up power I didn't need to. Hopefully this won't fall over. Let's see. Um, okay, where on earth was I? Right here, apparently. Hooray! Okay, I've shown you that now. Um, 
Yep, yeah. right, let's go back to the uh, status screen just because it's nice and. Uh, right, here's the extra thing I've added. Uh, I've added a torch. Uh, just like in the game, if you hold down the button, well, in, in the game it's the bring up the Pip Boy button, but uh, here I've got it as the, uh, the button on the front of the Pip Boy. If you hold that down, LED turns on. There we go, that's it properly. Um, got the screen going extra green and uh, I've got uh, four LEDs in the corners for uh, added, added effect. It, um, that angle doesn't give a lot of inf uh, light but hopefully I can experiment with that in the future when I actually build the plastic surrounds. Um, I reckon if I give them a 45 degree angle at the edge of the lens, because those LEDs are pointing up through the uh, lens that I've got on the front of the TFT, um, that's quite bright as it is, but um, yeah, I quite like that. That's good. Um, oh, and you'll notice it also makes the noises from the game as well. Don't know if you can hear that. Blah. Um, I think that's everything for tonight. Don't forget. Good night.